there's another recipe um, that I would like to share with you. This is a lovely spring recipe. I've got some lovely organic uh, pulled or set lamb, which is actually grown in our pastures over here. And this is a tiny little one, it's a spring one. And it's just a very simple, very straightforward recipe, which really you know, represents and showcases the best of the season. So what we're gonna do, I've got some garlic and rosemary butter. We're going to put it under the grill, so literally two minutes up to three minutes according to the size of the lamb, and that should be ready. While that's in the oven, I'm gonna show you a very simple garnish to go with it. We've got some courgettes, it's, that's what we call a courgette ribbons. I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna garnish with a little bit of broad beans, some spearmint, and then finish up with a little bit of lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, and a little bit of water. Okay, so first thing to do, get a little bit of olive oil onto a tray. We're gonna use a tiny little bit of season, just a pinch of salt, a few turns of pepper. I'm going to line that up nicely, so you can actually just give it a little rub like that. A bit more season over the top. and a few tons of pepper. Then we're gonna add a little bit of butter, so it's a rosemary and garlic butter on top of each. What this is gonna do is gonna help to give a lovely caramelization on top, and then obviously that lovely rosemary and garlic will just complement the lamp so well. Simple like that, get your oven on, do a grill, and that goes in. Keep an eye on it, because it won't take that long. We're talking about literally two, three minutes. So we leave it there. While that's cooking, we're going to prepare our garnish. So what we got here, so we got some cucumber ribbons, and the way to do these is by using just a peeler. This is another fantastic tool I'll recommend anyone. It's this, what we call a speed peeler, and just literally run through the courgette and just make these lovely ribbons like that. So you can prepare all this in advance, just get it ready. You know, this is exactly the sort of dishes you want, you know, for summer, spring. We got friends around, because it won't take time at all to, you know, to do it. And it's so delicious and also so nutritious. A little bit of olive oil, a pinch of salt, a bit of pepper. I've got some broad beans over here. You can use peas or any other spring, you know, pea shoots, if you like most, like that. And we're going to saute this very quickly. So at this stage, what you can do is just give these cucumber ribbons and the broad beans a nice stir just to make sure that they all get nicely coated in the olive oil. Add a tiny bit more oil on the pan. Keeping an eye, we have got another minute, minute and a half. Spear mint. Give this one just a rough chop. You could use other things if you wish, you know, you could use basil, you could use tarragon, chervil. Herbs is one of those things that I love to use in cooking, you know. Uh, it just brings it to a completely different level without much effort. Because the courgette has been sliced so thin, it won't take that long at all. Then you can add a little bit of water just to help bring some juices to it. So the idea is that you cook this as fast as possible. It shouldn't take that long. So you keep the vibrancy, keep the color, keep all the nutrients as well. Yeah, nearly there. So at this stage you can add your freshly chopped spearmint. Just have one just to taste, because you don't really want to overcook this. It won't take that long to cook. You want it to hold a tiny little bit of bite as well, which is it's not cooked. See, it doesn't take really time at all. The broad beans, if you want to put it at the same time like I did, you can just literally blanch it before, you know, just literally two, three minutes in boiling water, drain it off, throw it in at this stage, you know, and then you can reserve. This could be a salad on its own, just a little bit of ricotta cheese, you know, something seasonal, um, you know, if, if possible, grow your own, you know, which is very much what we are about here at Delsford Organic Cookery School, and it will be a wonderful spring dish. Having a look at the lamb, 
give it one more minute and we should be able to dress this. Two and a half minutes passed, so we should have now our cutlass nicely grilled. Can you see? Just beautifully. I mean, when they're small and tender like these, like spring lamb, you know, you actually want it slightly undercook it because you can easily lose that lovely, you know, juices, lovely fragrance of the lamb. Okay, so to serve, very simple. We can finish this at the end with a tiny bit of lemon. Always add the lemon at the end because they can easily start, you know, discoloring that chlorophyll of the um, courgette ribbons and the broad beans. Very simple, really refreshing. So there's not a lot of carbs on this dish, but you could use this, you could serve this with a little bit of you know, sourdough bread on the side. Uh, it will be absolutely fantastic. Or you can just leave it as it is. Gosh. So all these juices from the roasting and the garlic can just drizzle over the top. And then to finish up, this is optional. You could use a little bit of uh, good quality balsamic vinegar and just drizzle. And there you go, some lamb cutlets with some garlic and rosemary and some courgette ribbons and broad beans.